Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. My name is Dylan and I'm a cycling coach here at Carmichael Training Systems in Brevard, North Carolina. Today we're going to be talking about caffeine consumption and whether or not it'll improve your cycling performance. I'll go into the science on caffeine's effects on performance, what the optimal dose is, whether or not timing matters, and if regular caffeine consumption will reduce its benefits. I'll also talk about whether or not coffee is the best source of caffeine. And lastly, I'll go into how I use caffeine in my own racing and training. This video was requested by Tim Kofi. He asked me if caffeine had benefits for cycling and I told him what I knew and that I'd do more research on it. And here I am doing a whole video about it. So if you have any training topics that you'd like to know more about, leave them in the comments section below and I'll either answer them down there or do a whole video about it. And be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss it or any other training tips. All right, let's get into the science on caffeine. A study published in the Journal of Sports Science took 11 cyclists and tested their 1 minute max power output after consuming 5 mg per kilogram body weight of caffeine or a placebo. The caffeine ingested resulted in a 45 watt increase in power over the placebo. The caffeine group actually showed a lower rate of perceived exertion and a higher blood lactate leading to the conclusion that caffeine's beneficial effects may be in lowering RPE. Another study published in the same journal took eight subjects and had them perform a 1K time trial after consuming 5 mg per kilogram body weight of caffeine, a placebo, or nothing at all. The study came to the same conclusion, finding that the subjects went a little over 2 seconds faster when fed caffeine over the placebo and the control. These individual study findings were backed up by a meta-analysis of 40 double-blind studies looking at caffeine ingestion published in the International Journal of Sports Nutrition and Exercise Metabolism. They concluded that caffeine was beneficial showing a 12.3% increase in test outcomes, but especially for endurance performance over high intensity. So it's clear that caffeine has a beneficial effect on cycling performance, but what about the optimal dose? Is more caffeine better? A study published in the International Journal of Sports Medicine took nine well-trained cyclists and fed them 0, 5, 9, and 13 milligrams per kilogram body weight of caffeine before a cycling max test. All the caffeine tests performed better than the placebo, however there was no difference in performance from the lowest caffeine dose all the way to the highest. At the time of the study, all the caffeine doses except the lowest one tested over the doping limit, however, the study concluded that there was no need to go over this limit as the lowest dose would provide the maximum benefit. Another study published in the Journal of Sports Sciences looked at 16 well-trained cyclists and fed them a placebo 3 or 6 mg per kilogram body weight of caffeine prior to testing. Both caffeine doses performed better than the placebo, however, there was no difference between the high and low dose caffeine. For an average 150 pound rider, 3 milligrams of caffeine per kilogram of body weight would be just over 200 milligrams of caffeine, which is roughly equivalent to 2 cups of coffee. It's pretty clear that there is no need to go overboard with caffeine, as just a modest amount will have the same effect. Another question to consider with caffeine is timing. Should you take it an hour before the race, right on the starting line, or intermittently during the race? One study published in the Journal of Applied Physiology looked at 12 highly trained subjects and had them consume caffeine an hour before exercise or every 20 minutes during exercise or a placebo. Not surprisingly, both caffeinated tests performed better than the placebo, but there was no difference in performance when subjects were given caffeine before or intermittently during exercise. Another thing to think about when using caffeine to improve cycling performance is regular caffeine consumption and whether or not that'll hinder caffeine's ability to provide a benefit on race day. A systematic review published in the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research addressed this topic and stated that there was a greater effect of caffeine ingestion after abstaining from caffeine for a couple days and recommended that endurance athletes abstain from caffeine at least seven days before competition. Caffeine use may also spare glycogen stores, potentially leading to better endurance. A study published in the International Journal of Sports Medicine took seven subjects and had them perform cycling tests after consuming a caffeinated drink or a placebo. They found that caffeine resulted in a glycogen sparing of 42%. 
This may be in part because caffeine increased the mobilization of free fatty acids, so essentially more fat was being used for fuel instead of carbohydrates. Okay, so it's pretty clear that caffeine will improve your cycling performance, but there are a lot of ways to take in caffeine. By far the most popular amongst cyclists and just people in general is coffee consumption. But will consuming coffee have the same effects as just caffeine in general? A study looking at eight trained male cyclists had subjects consume caffeinated or decaf coffee and a caffeine pill or placebo before performing a 45 minute time trial. They found that caffeinated coffee and caffeine pill equally improved performance over the decaf coffee and placebo, concluding that the chlorogenic acids found in coffee do not impair the effects of the caffeine. However, this is just one study and a review of nine different studies published in the International Journal of Sports Nutrition and Exercise Metabolism found that five out of the nine studies found a positive effect of coffee on performance. However, four studies failed to show a benefit. The review concluded that coffee may have a beneficial effect on performance. So it seems that the evidence on whether or not coffee is beneficial is iffy. All right, let's do a quick review of the research, and then based on that, I'll go into how I use caffeine for racing and training. First, caffeine will definitely improve performance. The research is clear on this. However, more isn't necessarily better. Three to four milligrams per kilogram of body weight is all you need to reach the maximum benefit that caffeine will give you. This is about two or three cups of coffee worth of caffeine. As far as caffeine timing goes, it doesn't really seem to matter. You can do an hour before or during and get the same effect. If you are a daily caffeine consumer, you may want to change that if you want to maximize the effects of caffeine. Caffeine will have the largest benefit after a week or so of abstaining from it. There is evidence to show that caffeine spares glycogen stores, which is a huge benefit in long races where fueling is a concern. Evidence for coffee increasing performance is not as strong as caffeine, so coffee may not be the best source of caffeine, however it's probably better than nothing. So how do I take this information and utilize it for my own training and racing? Well, first of all, I'm not a regular caffeine consumer. I save my caffeine for hard training days and races only. That way I'll maximize the benefit of caffeine when I do take it. On race day, I rely on caffeinated gels and Coke for my caffeine intake. I usually choose gels with 25 to 50 milligrams of caffeine per serving and have one on the starting line and then four to seven throughout a long marathon race. Between this and shots of Coke at aid stations, I'm well over the three to four milligram per kilogram body weight limit where more caffeine intake won't increase my performance. If you do shorter events where you're not consuming as much during the event, you'll have to preload your caffeine intake. I hope you guys found this information helpful and that you'll be able to better utilize caffeine to help your performance. If you like this video, give it a like and share it with a friend who might be interested. If you want to see more coaching content, subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. If you're interested in coaching, shoot me an email at djohnson at trainwright.com.